Today's video, I'm gonna dive into some techniques I use to color grade C-log footage from my Canon R6. However, full disclosure, I am not a professional colorist by any means because color is honestly really subjective and there's no right or wrong way to color your film. It all depends on the mood, the tone, and really just the emotion that you're trying to convey in your story. So for this video, I'm gonna be diving into Final Cut Pro X because that's the editor of choice that I use. But these techniques can be used in Premiere Pro as well and really any other editing software of your choice. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, what's up everybody? We are in Final Cut Pro X and today we're just gonna really dive into some of the techniques I use to color grade C-Log footage. So we're gonna start with this first clip and as you can see, it's already very flat and we need to really polish this up. So there's a couple different ways you can do this, right? You can go over to your color tab, you can grab custom LUT and you can drag it over to your clip. And we can go ahead and open up our effects tab here and scroll down till you see if you have this available. If not, I'm gonna show you another way to do this, but the easiest solution is to find a Rec. 709 uh, conversion LUT. This is gonna save you a ton of time in post trying to uh, get it to the right contrast and um, everything else. So this is really just gonna save you a lot of time. Uh, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna select the C-Log to YDR uh, because I like this one the best because it's not too baked in on contrast and saturation. So it gives me a lot of room to uh, tinker and finesse the image to uh, the way I, I like it. So um, I think that is a great starting point. So now that I have my conversion LUT applied, uh, I'm gonna go over to the color panel and I'm gonna go ahead and select the color wheels. So I'm gonna come over to my shadows tab here and I'm gonna pull this down a bit until it looks to where I think that's nice. And then I'm gonna come over here to my midtones and do the same thing. And what I'm doing, I'm just really adding in some contrast to the image just to kind of dress it up a bit more. And then for the highlights, um, I'm really not gonna do too much. Depending on your image, if it's a little bit underexposed, you might raise up your highlights to just introduce a little bit more light. Um, or if it's a little you know, too bright and you wanna preserve some detail, uh, you can pull that tab down just to get a little bit more detail in your image. Not that that will always work for you, but that is a, a good rule of thumb. If your image is a little overexposed, uh, you can just take your highlights and bring that down to retain some detail. All right, and this is purely a style choice at this point, but you can also add a bit more saturation if you would like. Um, again, this is purely stylistic at this point. You know, you don't have to add uh, more saturation to your image, um, it just depending on your eye and really the, the mood that you're trying to express uh, with this particular image. And for instance, I don't really like it being that saturated. Um, so I'm just gonna add just a hair on the saturation. All right, and now that I have my conversion LUT applied, I've messed around with the uh, shadows and the midtones and the highlights just to introduce a bit more contrast to my image. Uh, the next and final step is really just to apply my finishing LUT. And so I'm gonna add custom LUT again to my image here. I'm gonna come over to custom LUT. For me, I love Forestry Films native preset pack. I've talked about this pack a little bit um, on the channel previously. I actually have another video all about LUTs that you can check out. Uh, I'll link that right above. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply native one. Um, and as you can see, obviously that baked in a lot of color. So we don't really want that. Uh, so I'm gonna turn down this, this LUT here just a bit. Right about 50 looks good. And for me, that is a finished clip from start to finish, three easy steps. And then you can see the effects before. This is just straight out of camera. And then after, it just makes a huge difference. And then just a rule of thumb, just make sure that your layers on the right side uh, match the order that you put them in first. Uh, you don't wanna have these mixed up uh, because it will affect your overall color. 
So now we can move on to another clip. I just wanna show you the same process here of what I did. So I take my custom LUT, I add that to my clip, and I just apply the Rec. 709. Um, I'm not adjusting the mix here. I am simply leaving it at 100%, and I'm coming over to my clip directly. I'm coming to my color layers, and I'm adding a color wheels, and adding a bit more contrast in the shadows, uh, in the midtones, I might play around with that. I might actually boost that up a bit. Again, this is just really playing on the look and tone that you're going for um, and really just correcting your image um, as you go along. Yeah, there's probably a bunch of things that I missed as far as, oh, you should color correct your clips first or you should do this first or that first. And really, like I said before, there's no right or wrong way to color it's all subjective, right? So it's really a matter of just finding what works best with your workflow and really what just helps you get the look that you're going for. So I've adjusted my shadows, my midtones. Uh, I might add a little bit more saturation in the shadows and the mids here. And then for a, a basic color correct, I think that's great. Uh, so then I'm gonna come over to my custom LUT again and I'm gonna add my finishing LUT. And then I'm gonna dial this down. And then I might come back to my color wheels after I see what the finishing LUT kind of did. I might boost the highlights a little bit just to add a little bit more light. Maybe raise the shadows a bit more. And then before and after. And again, you can play around with the skin tones to kind of, you know, introduce a bit more uh, red hues or decrease some of the orange or uh, really just add different layers to just dress it up the way that you uh, think that this story deserves. And then really, if you wanna save time, you can even command C, a previous clip, come over to the third one and command option V and apply the same effect to the next clip just to speed up your workflow and keep that consistency going. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, three easy steps. Apply your Rec. 709 LUT, adjust with your color layers, whether that be your color board or your color wheels. Um, either one of those will do the trick um, to add a little bit more saturation, add a bit more contrast, and then apply your finishing LUT. And then from there, you have something that looks like this. All right, guys, that is the end of this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful or valuable in some way, be sure to hit that like button. And until next time, keep creating and telling beautiful stories. Peace.